Yeah, welcome to my first tutorial here on YouTube. My name is Dennis Grieche and I will show you something about the new graphical user interface of Java, JavaFX. JavaFX is the replacement of the current Swing. We will work with Eclipse in this tutorial. This is something different to most other tutorials out here on YouTube because most of the others working with NetBeans, but it's also possible to work with Eclipse, uh, so I will demonstrate this because I prefer to work with Eclipse, so why should I change this? And yeah, I will start showing you a short animation how JavaFX works. So first of all you start with a stage, stage is your window, uh, this stage is created by default uh, from JavaFX, so you don't need to uh, create this one, then what you have to create is a scene, the scene is uh, put on the stage, it's like a panel of the good old swing. Uh, scenes, yeah, you can switch easily and on this scene you put a root node. Uh, this can be a stack pane, a Y box or an H box, uh, just for example, can be many more. Uh, in our tutorial we will put a label and a button on this uh, H box, so you can add more H boxes to uh, w stack pane or so to get more compli uh, complex layouts. But we just add a button and a label. So we will start uh, creating a new project. So we call it uh, YouTube FX. We will add first of all go to the properties to the build path and check out the library. So what you need to do here is you need your JDK. Don't use the dot re. You remove this one and add a library. The dot re system library next. So I always added the JDK one seven. So just add this one to your libraries and finish. So now I got the JK here in. So the next step is really important. This is the step where you add the JavaFX to your project. You again press add library, then you choose user library. In the next step, I already got the user library uh, JavaFX, so I show you how I added this one. You go to new call it JavaFX, uh, you can choose a different name as well, and add some external jars. So these external jars are uh, came from your JDK, so you need to have JDK 1.7 at least uh, to get JavaFX. And then you went to programs, Java, Java JK, JRE, lib, and choose your JFXRT put up jar file. This is the JavaFX file. Click open and to see it's edits here. Press OK. Select this one, finish so you got it in here, and now you edit JavaFX to your project. Pretty easy. And now we can create add a new class and we call it Fix. So it's in the default package, normally you don't do that for sure, but it's just to demonstrate the functionality of JavaFX. So as in every Java application you start with the main method. Now we format this a bit. This is the start point of a JavaFX application, not directly, but you will call the JavaFX constructor from here. So you need to extend your Java uh, file class from the class application application as you can see must be imported from the JavaFX package this is the one we edit and we see there are some methods missing and yeah we just press add unimplemented methods it automatically generates us the need method. So these are the both methods uh, 
really simple JavaFX program need. Now we start with launch function. This function calls the JavaFX constructor. So we pass through the arguments given by the default main method um, if there are something, uh, some, and yeah, right now. JavaFX already created a stage for us, as you can see here. It gives us this stage, I re rename this. It gives us the stage as variable. Uh, so now uh, I will shortly demonstrate you what JavaFX has already done for us. I use stage.show. And yeah, just will start the program. You see, you got an empty window. This window, yeah, got nothing on it, but you already get generated window by JavaFX, and yeah, you nothing need to do. Yeah, and you don't need to generate this one by your own. So this was done by JavaFX for us. So we will create a single label. I will go here and. Mm, name it LB text. So we need to import the label from the JavaFX sync control. Um, then we need to initialize this one. So this is done like a normal label. So whatever. And now we need to add this label to our scene. So First, we need to create a root element, add it to this, and then to the scene, and then to the stage. So we start adding a y, a y box. So this is all I call the root because it's our root element. So I add the label by getting the children of the y box and say add node all the text. So now it's added to the root and we need to create a scene out of this root. So we create this one scene and there are different options you can do. You can choose parent alone then it's only creates the minimum size needed. So I can demonstrate this and now we can easily say stage set scene and choose our scene from top so you see it's uh, minimal space needed and we got our text on our scene on our stage so this is the first JavaFX application written and it's working so now I'll show you the other uh, options you can choose here for example I take 500 and 500 so this is the size of your window, so by default it's starting some bigger. Now we will add an additional button to this application. So I chose it clear button click and again I have to import the JavaFX component. Mm, new button and click it. So now we want to do it. We want to do let the button do something. So this is done by the set options. And as I show you now, you have some actions here. Set on action is this action we will need n uh, now. It's triggered by a click on the button, and the other actions like drag drop or key press are also usable. There are many, many once you can use so we only need the set on action call it a new event handler from type action event this is what we need and now we say habitat set text and set it to you know, some new text so close it and yeah this is all we need so now we need to add the button so we can do two ways we can go this way and change 
this to button click would work fine but there is a more smooth way to do this so there uh, is a method called at all this can add a collection so you can add as many components as you want by calling one single function pretty nice don't uh, know this from swing so this is a really nice feature as you can easily add many components here because of the white box the uh, components will be so uh, added from the top to the bottom uh, I will show you by starting it so it's added from top to bottom so if you add another one it would be here and yeah, an H box would be do it from top uh, from left to right so uh, yeah now when I click on the button the text will change to new text and that's how DevFX works basically uh, I hope I could demonstrate you how to use it. Uh, I will show you how to customize this. You can easily add some designs with CSS files. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and hope I see you soon.